There's not much more frustrating than running out of space on your iPhone or iPad just when you're trying to capture a video of your kid or download a movie for a road trip. Hey guys, Rex here with iDrop News and today we're going to look at a few things you can do to make sure you never run out of space again. So let's get rolling. First things first, and it's obvious, but if you are in the market for a new iPhone, please avoid the 16 gigabyte model if you can afford to. I don't know why Apple keeps selling these, but hopefully they'll disappear soon. However, most of you already have an iPhone, and you may not be planning to upgrade anytime soon, so here are a few tips to help you get some of that space back. If you don't already clear out text regularly, you need to consider starting. Many people include pictures, videos, and other types of files which can pile up and consume a good deal of space on your device. You can clear out text messages manually, but your iPhone or iPad also includes a handy setting you can turn on which will delete text after a certain amount of time. To turn on this feature, go to Settings, Messages, scroll down and tap on Keep Messages, then you can select whether you want messages to be automatically deleted every 30 days or every year. For storage reasons, I recommend selecting the 30-day option. Once you do that, you'll get a pop-up if you have any messages older than the time period you selected asking if you want to delete those. Tap Delete and you'll be all set up. Apps are definitely one of the biggest space hogs on most iPhones and iPads. Over time, many of these apps build up old data that you'll need to get rid of to clear up some space. At this point, I'm not aware of any better way to clear out old data from apps other than deleting and then reinstalling them. Doing this will clear the cache from the app and allow you to start fresh. To see which apps are clogging up the most space, go to Settings, General, Storage and iCloud Usage, and then Manage Storage. Here you can scroll through your apps and see which ones you should probably delete and reinstall. Keep in mind that some of this data may not be old and unimportant. If you use third-party apps to shoot videos and photos, don't delete those apps until you've gone through them and backed up the information you want to keep. However, other apps, like Facebook for example, is notorious for clogging up your phone with irrelevant data. Facebook is a good example of an app you can just delete and reinstall if it's taking up too much space. Another way to get some space back is to clear out data in Safari. Safari will hold on to a lot of unnecessary information from various websites over time. You can clear this out by going to Settings, Safari, then scrolling down and tapping Clear History and Data. All right, if your space recovery needs were not satisfied by any of the tips I've already talked about, there is a more complete solution. You can always completely wipe and restore your iPhone or iPad. If you want to go this route, the first thing you need to do is back up your device so you don't lose any important information. The easiest way to do this is via iCloud. Make sure your device has plenty of battery and is hooked up to a Wi-Fi network then go to Settings iCloud, scroll down, and select Backup. Make sure iCloud Backup is turned on, then go ahead and tap Backup Now. You can make sure that the backup is finished by going to Settings iCloud, Storage, tap Manage Storage, and click on your device. The backup should show up and give you the time and the backup size. You can also go old school and back up your device using iTunes on a computer if you prefer. If you want to see an overview of how to do that, let us know in the comments. Once you've successfully backed up your iPhone or iPad, it's safe to wipe and restore your device. To start this process, go to Settings, General, Reset, and Erase All Contents and Settings. Now after this process is done, you will go through the setup phase and you can restore all your apps and other important data by selecting Restore from iCloud Backup on the Apps and Data screen. Next, choose the backup that you made at the start of this process, and after your device is done restoring, you should have a good deal of free space on your iPhone or iPad. Alright guys, that does it for this one. Hopefully these tips to help you get back some of your space on your device.
check out the article we published in the description for a few more tips that can help you save some space on your iPhone or iPad. And as always, keep it locked right here to iDrop News for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.